What's up guys, I am super excited for this one. The road to 10th anniversary Galaxy S10 has officially begun. We're done with the Note 9 and it's time for the biggest Samsung release ever. So let's take a look at the top 10 mind-blowing upcoming Galaxy S10 features based on the current leaks. First on the list is the unbreakable display. Yes, you read that right. The Galaxy S10 is expected to be the first Samsung phone to adopt Samsung's newly announced unbreakable display tech. Samsung Display developed the flexible OLED panel with an unbreakable substrate and an overlay plastic window which is much durable compared to the current generation flexible display products which uses a glass cover window so plastic is durable and lighter than the current glass that are being used according to the UL they have drop tested the panel based on the US military department standard which is four feet above the ground 26 times in succession combined with high and low temperatures the panel survived all the torture and they even went beyond the US standards and went with the drops up to six feet and guess what it still worked normally with no sign of damage so it's safe to assume that this this new panel will be super durable and it's most likely to be on the flagship product which is going to be the Galaxy S10. Durability is getting more and more important as we are getting less bezels because the display is more naked which is why Samsung is most likely to implement this unbreakable display on its future flagship phone. Next up we have 5 cameras. Do you ever dream of a phone which has optical zoom, wide-angle lens, and portrait mode lens system all in one camera tech? Well, that dream is about to become a reality thanks to the Galaxy S10 Plus model. Samsung is looking to implement three cameras on the back of the S10 Plus with one main verbal aperture camera sensor, with a secondary optical zoom sensor, and a third 16 megapixel f 1.9 wide angle lens. There will also be two front cameras exclusive to the S10 Plus model to give you the best depth effect selfies and wide angle selfies. The other two S10 models both will rock dual cameras with wide angle lenses but no optical zoom. So Samsung is pretty much cashing hard on the wide angle train but the S10 Plus will have the complete camera system that you want on your phone is coming with the S10 Plus. There's not a single phone out there that gives you optical zoom and wide angle lens in one package. This is definitely going to be a major game changer. Moving on to the in-display fingerprint scanner. Good Lord Almighty, we have waited for this one for quite some time that it doesn't even sound that mind-blowing anymore. But wait, Samsung delayed this for a reason. They wanted to have the best and the most reliable technology instead of using the optical sensor that most of the Chinese phones have used, they're going with the ultrasonic sensor, which is said to be more reliable and faster than the traditional in-display fingerprint scanner and will work even in wet conditions. This ultrasonic fingerprint scanner system is said to be the best on any phone, so two of the Galaxy S10 models will be using the ultrasonic scanner, whereas the S10 Lite, the base model, will be using a fingerprint scanner on the side of the phone. Moving up the ladder, we have 4K display. The Samsung Galaxy S10 is expected to exceed 600 ppi, and the only way to do that is to bump the resolution to 4K. The S10 Plus model could be the one to have an upgraded resolution, which will prove to be amazing for VR purposes. According to the recent patent, Samsung will be using anti-screen door effect on its AMOLED display so that VR experience don't get pixelated, which happens sometimes even with the Galaxy S10 Plus plus and its high-end display, things does get a little bit pixelated, kind of like you're seeing stuff through a mesh. But with this new anti-screen door effect, Samsung is looking to eliminate that and the 4K resolution will provide the best VR experience. As for the resolution itself and the battery, Samsung will allow users to downgrade the resolution if they want to, which is something that you can already do on your current phone. Next up, we have a new bezel-less design. The Galaxy S10 is expected to rock an amazing high-quality bezel-less display. It will have the biggest design change since the Galaxy S8. Samsung is looking to reduce bezels, particularly removing the chin completely by applying a curved OLED panel. Samsung is expected to reduce bezels particularly at the bottom of the display where the chin is situated so they are expected to remove the chin completely by applying a curved OLED display similar to Apple and push the chin in the actual bottom bezel and also reducing the top bezel by removing the earpiece with the help of their new sound emitting display technology that they announced at SID Display Week. With the implementation of this new tech there will be no need of the earpiece so that Samsung 
will be able to eliminate the bezels by removing the earpiece and making the design even more sexier. Next on the list, we have 7 nanometer chip gains. The Galaxy S10 is going to be the first phone to have the latest 7 nanometer architecture, Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 CPU or Exynos 9820 depending on the market and both of these two processors are based on 7 nanometer process to bring the ultimate performance with clock speeds up to 3.3 gigahertz, 10% faster performance and about 40% power efficiency compared to the current gen 10 nanometer processor. And with these chip gains we also have a major RAM gains. Yes, Samsung officially announced that it has successfully developed the industry's first 10 nanometer based 8GB LPDDR5 DRAM. This will set the stage for introducing 5G network and artificial intelligence powered mobile application. It's said to be 1.5 times faster than DDR4X RAM and it will be made available in two bandwidths 6400 MB per second slash 5500 MB per second making it the most versatile mobile memory solution for next generation smartphones and automotive systems. Next on the list is 3D front camera. With Galaxy S10, Samsung is expected to ditch the iris scanner in favor of a 3D front camera. In order to truly rival Apple, Samsung cannot let go of the facial scanner game. Instead, it is expected to finally make things 3D rather than 2D. The 3D sensing camera kit is reportedly being developed in partnership with the Mentis Vision from Israel. Another company that goes by the name of Woodgate is making the camera component. This will make things more secure compared to the 2D facial scanner that current Galaxy phones uses and also giving users the option to use the facial scanner as well as the in-display fingerprint scanner. At number 9, we have 5G speeds. The Galaxy S10 will be one of the first smartphones to be 5G ready. It will be using Qualcomm's X50 modem with up to 5 gigabits per second download speeds. It's pretty much confirmed and Qualcomm seems to be super excited to work with Samsung for their Snapdragon 855 CPU. It's going to be inside the Galaxy S10 combined with that new X50 modem. So 5G will going to bring the best speeds possible for the Galaxy S10. And last on the list, we have diversity. Next year, Samsung will be providing not one, not two, but three Galaxy flavors. Yes, there will be three Galaxy S10 models, the S10 Lite, the S10, and the S10 Plus. We're not sure about the naming, so Samsung could change the names and introduce something new. S10 Lite will provide all the latest improvements, minus the in-display fingerprint scanner, and it will have a flat screen, whereas the other two models will be having curved display with in-display fingerprint scanner. In all these three models, the Galaxy S10 Plus is going to be the most premium one. It will have the best features like having three cameras on the back and two cameras on the front. This whole lineup is mentioned in multiple reports and it's also been confirmed by KGI, which is which is undoubtedly one of the best and the most accurate leakster on the planet. So yeah guys, there you have it, the 10 mind-blowing Samsung Galaxy S10 features. Let me know your thoughts, which one you are excited about the most, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.